Hello everyone. So today we will be seeing that which one is the better choice in camera. So it is Canon R1 or Sony A1. So now without any further delay, just starting the comparison and coming out one conclusion that which one is better to buy. Now talking about its processor type. So Canon R1 is having Dixic X processor and your Sony A1 is having dual by on XR. Now talking about your sensor size, so it is full frame CMOS for Canon R1 and for Sony A1 it is full frame XMOR RS CMOS. Now talking about the weight, so for your Canon R1 it is 1015 grams and for your Sony it is 723 grams. Now coming to its Coming to its power supply, so Canon R1 is working on LP E19 and your Sony is working on NPF2100. Silent shutter feature is in both your Canon R1 and your Canon R Sony A1 and your movie format is of same MP4 CRM for both your Sony as well as your Canon. Coming to its image resolution, so it is 24.1 megapixel for your Canon R1 and for Sony it is 50.1 megapixel. Video resolution is 8K 30p and 4K 120p and in your Sony it is 8K 30p. LCD screen is 3.2 inches, 4 million dots, variable angle touch screen and your Sony is having 3 inches, 3 inches. 1,044,000,000 lakhs slots touch screen. Now talking about its dimension, so it is 150 by 142.6 by 87.2 mm and your Sony AM1 is having 157.6 by 149.5 by 87.3 mm and your viewfinder is 1.27 centimeters 0.5 mm OLED approx 5.76 million dots and for your Sony it is 9.44 million dot, dots OLED EFV, EVF sorry. Now talking about the battery life so Canon R1 can give you 800 shots but apart from this Sony A1 can give you 530 shots in one go. So if I talk about the better choice then it will be Canon R1 till now as per the specifications. Now coming to the connectivity. So your Canon R1 is giving you Wi-Fi 6 version, Bluetooth 5.2 version connectivity, USB-C 3.2 version, HDMI 2.1 version. But apart from this your Sony A1 is giving connectivity with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, USB-C, HDMI and these all are of lesser version than that of your Canon is providing. So if I say in connectivity also a Canon is providing an updated, upgraded versions than that of your Sony A1. Now coming to the electric continuous shooting speed so it is in electronic shutter only so if i talk about canon r1 then it is giving 40 shots per second and your sony is giving only 30 shots per second so here also canon r1 is giving you better backup and better uh, reliability in its work now coming on the special features so canon r1 is advanced autofocus 8k video recording weather sealed body and your sony a1 is high speed continuous shooting excellent video compatibility advanced autofocus so these all are same but your canon is being upgraded in many of the features also so quality wise canon is giving you the better quality than sony eye detection so in your Canon R1 it is detecting human and animal both eye detection and your Sony is giving advanced real-time tracking so it is also working the same and it is also uh, giving real-time videography and real-time capturing of your data so now coming to the next 
now talking about its image resolution so your canon r1 is giving you jpeg hef raw and zero but apart from this sony is giving only hef jpeg and raw so also uh, canon r1 is giving the combination way also and similar in sony but in canon r1 it is giving more resolution options than that of your sony a1 now in body image stability so in canon r1 r1 it is having this feature and in your sony it is giving five axes in body stabilization so all over if i say uh, canon is giving all over stabilization image stabilization but um, your sony a1 is constrained to a some particular range now talking about its memory card type so in your canon r1 it is supporting two memory cards you can use and these are c fexpress memory cards type b compatible and second one is your sdxc sdhc or sd type it, it is basically uhs second supported now if i talk about your sony a1 then it is also supporting dual and the both are of fexpress type a sd ush cards now talking about the color variants so both are giving nominally uh, basically black color only standard black color there is no such color variations as per the models now after all coming to a conclusion that which one is better so canon r1 is an improved auto focus capabilities are there enhanced 8k recording is there improved overheating management is there high resolution viewfinder is there improvement to the lcd screen for better clarity and usability is there updated wireless connectivity options are there so all in all if i say then canon r1 is a little bit higher in rate but definitely giving the best out of the price so if you are a professional user and you are actually into this uh, profile of uh, capturing videos and videographer then your choice should be your canon r1 instead of the second one the sony a1 but all in all the choice is yours this is what i find out and according to me what i feel i hope it is helpful for you thanks for watching